I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. This week we are capping off a Pride Month to remember with these amazing creatives in the fabulous spaces they call home. We get physical with this fitness influencer at his sky-high apartment with views for days. And we visit the pattern-rich and colorful home of creative designer and artist DeVito. We also stop off in Chelsea with these partners in architecture and life. But first, we join famed fashion designer Christian Siriano in his stylish Westport, Connecticut retreat. You can see the tree, see the nature. This is just like a need from being in New York City all the time. You have to come out here and get a little escape. Right, Poppy? You love this place. Welcome to Open House NYC, everyone. We are ending Pride Month in style this week inside the fabulous homes of some of our favorite creatives. And we are getting started in Westport, Connecticut with fashion designer and Bravo's Project Runway star, Christian Siriano. This distinct home is a true reflection of his creativity and a pretty great place to entertain inside or out. See why. Hey everyone, I'm designer Christian Siriano. We are here in Connecticut at my little modern escape. We are outside. This is the pool, obviously. It's a hot day. So the house is pretty new. It's kind of a contemporary spin on something that's mid-century and modern and clean and elegant, but I still wanted the house to feel warm and beautiful. I think you'll see that, so come on in. And you'll see Poppy. Oh, it's a gorgeous day. All right, so this is kind of outside from the pool, you know, into this main beautiful living space. This is kind of our cozy hangout. There's a lot of places to sit. These are vintage casino chairs that I got in Paris years ago, reupholstered them. This is a really cool piece. This is a little stool from my new furniture collection, which I love. Everything is still like low and comfortable. There's no TV in this room. This is about just like hanging out with friends, having wine white wine, not red, and um, you know, just having like a good conversation. What I love is the quick transition to the fabulous kitchen. It's such a special space for, you know, entertaining. A beautiful black soapstone. I love the marble stone because it's not lacquered. It's quite matte, so I think it's really beautiful in this space. And what I also love is that there's no upper cabinets. Everything is down below. I'm little, so that's easy for me. We've had it all. My mom's come and cooked dinner. My sister, her, my nephews. It's a really fun, like, kind of family space. Well, I love also that the kitchen is so close to the dining room. And I love this room because it's just so open and also filled with some of my favorite things. These are vintage chairs that I found online that I love and reupholstered. I had to have this cabinet because it reminded me of the cabinet that comes to life in Beauty and the Beast and it felt like almost like it was a dress and maybe at night she comes to life and has a dance. The windows make you really feel like it's just indoor outdoor living. And this is in California, this is Connecticut. You know, New York's an hour away, so I love that everywhere you turn, you just like feel like you're outside. And you can see Poppy. She loves to come to this window and just stare because she knows that she's outside playing and I'm in here working. Come on, let's go, let's go upstairs. Come on, <laughs> good girl. Now we are in kind of our main bedroom and I love this room so much because it's just so bright and light and I feel like I wake up every morning to just green and everything in here is vintage, which I also love. Woven textile pillows from Spain that I got. Um, this is an old Moroccan rug that I got from the amazing people at ABC Carpet and Home in New York. Lamps that are thrifted. You know, it's just like a cool filled space with things that I love. And then you get to come out here, which is like the best part of this room, hang out here all day. But I love it out here. This is, you know, all glass, so nothing feels obstructed. You can see the trees, see the nature. This is just like a need from being in New York City all the time. You have to come out here and get a little escape. Right, Poppy? You love this place. <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming to hang out with me in Connecticut. This is my little escape. 
I hope you feel as inspired as I do when I'm here, and I hope to see you soon. <laughs> bye. Say bye. Come on. Thanks for showing us around, Christian. Just after the break, we are in New York's Chelsea neighborhood with these partners in architecture and life. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back, everyone. Now we're on this beautiful tree-lined street in Chelsea with the architects and partners behind Bond Studio. Noam and Daniel designed their sophisticated apartment slash atelier with modernist pieces and a Mediterranean flair influenced by their native Israel. Mix in a New York attitude and you have the distinct path they call home. Take a look. Hi, I'm Noam. I'm Daniel. We are partners in practice and in life and the founders of the New York-based Studio Bond. And welcome to our home here in Chelsea. We designed this place in mind with living and working and very much like an atelier. Instead of telling you about it, why don't we show you around? Let's go. You enter the apartment through a private elevator and you immediately come in into this living room which has really these high ceilings, a wow moment for everybody that walks in. Lots of light coming through these huge windows and through our windows, we see beautiful townhouses that have been here for 150 years. The fireplace is the focal point of the living room. It's made of arabescato marble that's very luxurious and gives the entire space a kind of majestic feeling. Even when we design spaces that are quite minimal, it's really important to have a punch. And for us, this is the fireplace. The square shape of this space is pretty challenging. When we designed it, we really thought about it as a bit of a loft, creating different corners within the space rather than trying to take it over with one big gesture. This sitting area is really my favorite place in the house. I love that you can move the furniture around, the tables on wheels, the sofa breaks up into different modules, and it's nice when we have kind of a bigger group of friends here. For the dining area, we chose a beautiful glass table designed by Le Corbusier in the 1920s. It has this beautiful glass top which reflects the outdoors, but it's also wonderful for sketching. For the dining chairs, we chose a mixture of Scandinavian chairs that are very beautiful and have this beautiful patina. And to complement the simplicity of the Scandinavian chairs, we chose the bunny chair. It's very beautiful, very whimsical, but uncomfortable. But everybody still wants to sit on it, well, at least for five minutes. I love listening to Daniel playing. It's so relaxing. For me, what's relaxing is cooking. I spend a lot of time in this kitchen. I really feel the kitchen is the heart of the home, and so we wanted this to be as open as possible. Should we show them the bedroom? Sure, let's go. Welcome to our bedroom. In contrast to the living room, the ceilings here are much lower. It's a little bit darker and creates a more of an intimate feel and it faces the trees in the back. And when you look out, it really makes you feel as if you're in a tree house. There are a lot of interesting details here. For example, the headboard is made out of 1950s fabric and paired together with these really fun lamps that we got from a hardware store. It's $4 each and that just shows you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get great impact. We like to introduce sexy little surprises in every bedroom that we make and the window to the shower does just that. At Bond, we focus on the design of fun and sophisticated environments, and our home is the lab where we get to test all of these fun ideas. Thank you for coming on this tour, and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Coming up in just a few short minutes, we are in Los Angeles with the influential designer and artist, DeVito. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss this. We'll see you in just a few. Welcome back. Now we're in Los Angeles at the home of the designer and artist known as DeVito. His home is a vibrant, creative space where he lives, works, and relaxes. And of course, it's a celebration of the things he loves. See for yourself. Hi, I'm DeVito, but you can call me Dab, and I am a designer and artist living in Los Angeles. 
Because in my home, I love color. For me, color brings so much mood and vibe to a space. Designing is all about celebrating your life and your family and friends and bringing all of those things that brings a lot of joy to your home. Let's get started with a tour, shall we? So the welcoming energy from the entryway guides you into the living room, which is fun, inviting, and relaxing. Yellow is really one of my favorite colors. It just brings me a lot of joy and happiness. And then I just kind of like started layering things that are like warm tones in here. So the rug is orange and yellow and I have a yellow sofa, but I also have like yellow textiles and yellow pillows. And the artwork ties it all in. As you can see, I've created a gallery wall. It's one of my favorite ways to like bring a bold statement to a space. Overall, this living room just brings me a lot of joy and I just feel very, very, you know, happy in this space. All right, so this is my new favorite space in the house because this is where I work, I eat, I sleep, I do everything here. For me, I love wallpaper and I love tropical wallpaper. It's a way to bring the outdoors in. I always wanted to use the color purple and so I chose a purple banquette and I love round tables and this is like the perfect size for this area. I've always liked the tiki vibe and I've added all those natural elements like the woven chandelier and the woven shades. So I'm gonna invent this right now. I'm calling it hashtag tiki chic and this is tiki chic right here for ya. Verbena. So this is my kitty Verbena. Meet Luigi. They're super friendly and sweet. So this is the primary bedroom. I consolidated two rooms to create a bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. This is a closet. As impressive as they are, if you open these cabinets doors up, these are actually IKEA past cabinets. So we saved a lot here and splurged a lot here. So there's really no right or wrong way to decorate or design. So when I first moved in here, this room was super tiny and we didn't have any windows here. I wanted to blow it up, add these huge windows to bring the outdoors in. And we have this gorgeous fig tree in Bougainvillea. And so I just feel like I'm on vacation in Bali in here. Got a lot of vacation vibes. So California is known for its weather and I just love coming out here to really enjoy nature and get some inspiration. I reupholstered this outdoor sofa with this umbrella fabric. It has this gorgeous pattern and it's fade resistant and I love it. So I talk a lot about, you know, bring the outdoors in for my interiors, but in this area, I wanted to bring the indoors out. So when I say um, bring the indoors out, I mean, you know, creating a very relaxing lounge moment. So a sofa, chairs, a coffee table, where you can just like read a book and have a cocktail. As you can see, I'm fully enjoying my outdoor area and I'm gonna go read a book and enjoy a cocktail and you can see yourself out. Bye everyone. Coming up, get physical and fab at the apartment of the fitness influencer, Isaac Boots. Instead of just giving you a tour, why don't we get a little work on it, right? Right? Yes. We'll see you in just a bit. Welcome back. Now we're on the Lower East Side with choreographer, celebrity trainer, and fitness influencer Isaac Calpito, better known as Isaac Boots. Isaac's beloved torched workouts have quickly become the place to be on social media and in person. And like any great party, everyone is welcome. It's an ethos he lives by, and you can see that in his ultra stylish yet welcoming abode. Take a look. Hey guys, Isaac Boots here and Davis Boots, my little baby. And welcome to my home. Shall I show you around? Let's go. But instead of just giving you a tour, why don't we get a little work on it, right? Right? Yes. So this is a classic band workout that tightens your arms, tones, and really you can do it anywhere. Like my living room. So this is my main space in my two bedroom, two bath here on the Lower East Side. And it's kind of amazing because I've lived in many places around New York and this is the best view I've ever had. So in designing the space, I really wanted to complement the incredible cityscape to create a jewel box in the sky. And that really started with color and art that I love. Let's go see it. 
I wanted to turn this apartment into my showplace, so it is specifically curated. There are no accidents. And that all started with this sofa. The color reminds me of the ocean water in Hawaii, where I'm from, so I always feel like I have a piece of home with me. Even these fabulous pillows here on the sofa are all gifts from my friends and clients. And seeing as I'm a multitasker, even when I'm sitting on the couch, I like to get a workout in. I would say my overall design aesthetic is colorful, is cheeky, slightly ironic, and representative of all my life experiences. Even this Polaroid, I take a snapshot of anyone that comes into the apartment and save it on this tray from my friend. And what is a living room without some share coasters, right? Ultimately, I love to entertain, and this place has a party vibe. And great design is required. And this is where we eat, or as I like to call it, drink champagne and stretch in front of my two dance icons, Josephine Baker and Madonna. These chairs I love. I was obsessed with the color of them. They reminded me of Versailles and a sort of Marie Antoinette vibe. And this bar, I wanted it to be representative of my friends and some humor. And Kelly Ripa actually gave me this really amazing teacup that says, Mommy Dearest, our favorite film. And even this fabulous poodle, which I got from a local artist in the Hamptons, which I love because it reminds me of my baby Davis. And these fabulous cookie jars of Davis and Marie Antoinette. But I like to say, off with her head. Okay. And grab a cookie, of course, gluten-free. And I'm sure you're wondering what's in my fridge. Well, voila. We like to keep it very sensible, very curated. I keep my skincare in there, and more often than not, I like to have a midday rose water spritz. So this is my second bedroom that I really use as a meditative space, a place to do live streams, and it's also a great place to do my workout on Zoom or whatever. I can just place my laptop down, do my little plank series. Davis loves to, to join in as well. We do a little push-up, right, Davis? Yeah. And this is my bedroom. And so I really wanted to create a space that I felt safe in, that still had a flow of humor in it as well. And as we know, New York apartments, we like to economize space. So I have my bags as art on the wall. And I have this great vintage mirror that I got in the Hamptons. I just loved it as soon as I saw it. And oh, and there's Davis and his carrot, which he's obsessed with. I've lived here for over 22 years and I can basically see every apartment I've ever lived in. And this is my favorite one. Now I'm not gonna show you what kind of exercise I do in this room, but let me show you how I end my day. What a better way to end your workout and your day with a sensible bath and a splash. So thanks for joining me today. Cheers. I can't believe the show's already over. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, because we're gonna keep giving you these amazing homes.